This movie has a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Holy shit! Boyhood. So Boyhood is the 12 year story and we follow this boy named Mason who is played by Eller Colt Train as it basically follows from when he was about age 6 to the age of 18. It basically chronicles his life story pretty much. Now a lot of people are giving this movie like high praise. People are saying it's like the newest masterpiece of this generation. People are saying it's one of the best movies of all time. I'm gonna come out and say it right now. Boyhood, in my opinion, is not a masterpiece. Let me explain. Let me explain, guys. I really did like this movie a lot. I thought it was great, but is it a masterpiece, in my opinion? No. For this being made over 12 years of the same cast, I will give it huge props for the scope of this movie. It's awesome to see these people grow, especially the main actor. It was interesting to see him grow from six, you know, doing his things that a boy would do. Well, which I'll get to in a little bit. Just seeing him growing into an adult, it was really interesting seeing someone else grow up and seeing actors like Ethan Hawke and uh, Patricia Arquette, just seeing them grow as well, it was really interesting to see how this movie was playing out and to see the journey as well. The acting all around is fantastic. It did take me a little bit to get into it because of Mason's acting at first, you know, L.R. Coltrane's acting. Kid actors, it's either they're good or they pretty much suck. Almost when he was a teenager, I believe the acting could have been a lot better from his part, but then again, he was a kid, so I can give him a slight pass for that. But with the other actors, Ethan Hawke, I mean, I love Ethan Hawke, he's a great actor. Patricia Arquette was also great, but I will say this, the, that little sister in the beginning. Oh my gosh, she was so annoying. I wanted to just go through the screen and just yell, shut up. The biggest strength I can give this movie on my part with the nostalgia of it. Since this movie was filmed over 12 years, there are certain things and certain songs or certain things that happened throughout those 12 years that really did strike out to me. Like, there's a scene where they go bowling or Mason, his sister, and Ethan go bowling and I heard Try Again by Aliyah and tripped down memory lane pretty much. Mason was playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater on the Game Boy SP and I was like, oh my god, I played that game. And there are even parts that I could relate to. Plus, there are so many great plot aspects. Let, let us just say, the stepfather, what a douchebag. Honestly, it's really hard to talk about boyhood. I will say this, it is a totally unique film. One of my biggest faults of the movie was that I feel like in some aspects or in some parts of the movie that they really wanted to relate to the character, but there are certain parts of the movie where I was like, I never did that as a teenager. What happened to this guy as a teenager, I was like, I just, I can't fit in right now. This is a long movie. It's almost three hours. I will see, it did take me a bit to get into the movie, but I would say once the 25, 30 minute mark hit in, that's when I got pulled into the movie. Otherwise, Boyhood is really, it is a great movie. That's because I'm saying it's not a masterpiece does not mean I didn't like it. Guys, I really did enjoy this movie. It was a really Really, really well done movie. It's a nice little journey watching this kid grow up and even though I didn't relate in some aspects it was still a nice little trip down memory lane type of movie. So I'm gonna give Boyhood a four and a half out of five. It's definitely something else but it is not like like oh my god it's perfect. No I'm sorry it's not like that to me. Still a really well done movie though. Alright guys so have you seen Boyhood? I am so curious because I have a feeling all the comments are like, fuck you, Austin, the, the, you suck, this movie's a masterpiece. Sorry. And I will see you guys next time.